Hello and welcome to the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast. In case you have any questions, please send us an email to info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. Thank you and enjoy the podcast. Hello and welcome to the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast. We are here with Dr. Sarafi Redo. How are you, doctor? I'm very well, Louise. How about yourself today? I'm doing great. As always. <laughs> it's a Friday. It's yeah. It's a Friday. So, doctor, we do have a very interesting topic today. Um, actually, this is one of the most viewed um, podcasts or video podcasts in YouTube. And we're going to talk about stem cells for eye conditions. What do you think that eyesight ailments make people feel um, more vulnerable um than other ailments and therefore require a particular uh, treatment you know with uh, with eyesight we don't we take it for granted um we take it is i think one of our most important senses and we really take it for granted and we don't realize it until we start to lose it um and because it has such an impact on our personal lives on our um our professional lives, and we realize the limitations uh, that losing our eyesight can entail in the way that we function, whether it is um, night vision and driving or reading or trying to watch a television show um, or trying to, I don't know, help your child with homework. And uh, so it really, really starts to have, or, or working on a computer. Um, and it really, really starts to have an impact on, on personal, personally and professionally uh, because of the limitations. So that's what creates that vulnerability. And that is what we are trying to address when we are treating uh, the patient as a whole um, and all aspects of the healing. May I also have a, like a psychological impact in this case? Absolutely. And, and that's why I, when I mentioned patient, um, treating the patient as a whole, you hit the nail on, on the head because, um, yes, we can address the eyes, we can inject the eyes, we can do things uh, that are directly related to the eyes, make certain changes. Um, however, uh, those limitations that are set forth with the limitations in our eyesight really um, affect our psychological well-being, our emotional well-being. Um, uh, the way that we interact with our loved ones uh, because of those limitations. So, so it's really important. And, and you've heard me say this before in past podcasts that our well-being is not just our physical body. So it is very, very important that we um, address those em uh, emotional and psychological aspects of losing our, our eyesight or at least um, uh, where we're at in, hope, in hopes of attaining our uh, bettering our eyesight with with treatment. I believe, doctor, you receive um, a significant amount of inquiries um, about the stem cell treatment for the, uh, the eye ailments, right? You know, we do. Um, and, and as I was saying, it is such a huge part of, um, of, of the way that we live. And, uh, and it's one of our, our most important senses. So um, we have had a lot of inquiries um, and uh, a lot of um, uh, questions as to whether or not it is helpful, whether stem cells can help eyesight with different ailments, whether they may be um, retinitis pigmentosa, optic nerve damage, macular degeneration, which is a huge one, glaucoma, um, various different eye conditions. And we have uh, varying degrees of success uh, and where, where we can actually uh, objectively test uh, the improvements and see that there have been uh, visible improvements in the objective tests. Sometimes it's not so apparent um, anecdotally. Um, and this is quite interesting because uh, in many cases, patients right away will feel a, a change in their eyesight um, and uh, within days or weeks. Um, and in other cases, they don't really feel that much of a change anecdotally, but it shows up on their tests. So when we do a before and afters, we see an improvement. 
So um, it's quite interesting. So it's a, it's a matter of addressing it a certain way. Um, there are so many factors uh, when we're uh, with with eyesight, uh, with eyesight and and loss of, of vision. We can um, there are dietary issues, digestive issues. There are um, blood sugar issues. A lot of diabetics um, come to us with uh, optic nerve injury or uh, or glaucoma or macular degeneration. Um, there are um, various different factors, age, just normal wear and tear, um, uh, various different factors that play a role, the uh, circulation issues. And so we have to address um, as a physician that treats a patient as a whole um, and not just um, individual systems, we address all these aspects of wellness, which are so, so, so important in healing and recuperating the vision. So when we, we, we usually use the term my conditions um, very broadly, right? Can you give us like a, a, a little bit more of information about the eye and the eye diseases that we can treat? I, I, I know you mentioned a few, but um, mm. how does the stem cell um, it can cure any of these uh, conditions? Yes, um, that's a really good question because each eye condition is functioning um, differently in affecting the eye and in affecting the vision. So let's talk about the anatomy really quickly of the eye. We have the cornea, which is the outermost surface, um, the clear surface uh, of the eye. And then we have uh, the lens, which focuses light onto the retina, and it functions very much like the lens of a camera. Then we have the retina itself, which is probably one of the most important structures in the eye. Um, it is very highly um, innervated with nerves, different, um, different cells, photoreceptors, lens, rods, which are uh, different cells of the eye that um, uh, take in light and affect. Those are the ones that are affected mostly in retinitis pigmentosa and affect night, uh, nights and um night vision and day vision. Uh, and then we have the epithelial layer of the retina, which brings in a lot of nutrients. It's very highly, um, uh, uh, very high in blood vessels. Uh, and, uh, and then we have the optic nerve, which is the main uh, roadway or highway uh, connecting the, uh, the eye itself, uh, the retina and, and the back of the eye and the eye itself to the brain. Uh, which uh, signals um, from the eye to the brain when we're in vision. And so those are the main structures of the eye. And um, so we have the rods and cones, which are photo photoreceptor cells. Then we have all the nerves. We have all the blood vessels. Um, and, um, and, and in improving vision, we have to address all of these uh, and the wellness of all of these types of cells. So, doctor, why should people be interested in, in treating eye conditions with the stem cells, and especially at the Stem Cell Healing Institute? You know, um, unfortunately, the uh, stem cells can be uh, an end-all and be-all. Um, the only, uh, the last resort tends to be stem cells, and because stem cells do have a capacity to regenerate the damaged tissue, as I've always said, that is, that is the whole goal. And so in, um, with stem cells, our goal is to regenerate the rods and cones, uh, that may be damaged the retina in, uh, um, a lot of the eye conditions where the retina is involved, macular degeneration, um, uh, diabetic neuropathies and, and diabetic eye conditions, optic nerve, um, what other ones? Uh, the glaucoma as well. And um, what's another major one that we treat? I think I mentioned. So the retinitis pigmentosa, optic nerve damage, uh, cataracts as well, and, and the damage caused by cataracts and scarring, uh, macular, I, I think I mentioned the macular degeneration. Diabetes. The one. Oh. Diabetes, yes. So diabetic neuropathy, I feel like I'm, I'm forgetting one. But for the most part, it's about regenerating the neurons, uh, the rods and cells, the photoreceptors, the retina itself, regenerating, regenerating 
and creating circulation and blood flow, improved blood flow into the eyes uh, to bring in all the nutrients that are necessary. And, um, and then, of course, uh, addressing the whole body and uh, uh, dietary factors, sleep and recuperating factors, um, as well as oxygen and detoxifying, and uh, which are all very much addressed in the way that we approach uh, the healing with stem cells at the Stem Cell Healing Institute. So, doctor, are these injections administered directly into the eyes, and do you do it by yourself, or do you have uh, someone else uh, giving you a hand? <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, thank you, Louise. Yes, we have specialists in their uh, respective fields, um, very, very highly regarded ophthalmologists that we work with that will do the injection in the eye. Um, it's not actually directly into the eye that is really important to be uh, made aware of, that it's not directly into the bulbus of the eye. It, it's actually a retrobulbar injection, which means that it's down and up behind the eye. So it's right next to the eye, right next to the optic nerve, uh, right next to the retina, but not directly, which can possibly do damage. And we do not want to create any risk for the patient whatsoever. So... Uh, and when we place the stem cells next to the place of damage, uh, because cytokines are released from damaged cells, and I've spoken about this in the past, um, when there are damaged cells, they break open and release chemical, um, chemical messengers, which are uh, f inflammatory factors, which signal to the stem cells in the area that, hey, this is where the damage is, and this is the cell that has the damage. So those stem cells come to that place of damage and reconstruct, and that's the whole idea, and regenerate and lay down new cells and um, um, basically try to undo as much damage as possible. And so by placing those stem cells right into the area and locally, uh, we're getting the job done. And not only do we place the stem cells next to the eye and behind the eye, as close to the eye as possible, we will also do an IV uh, intravenous infusion of the stem cells. So the stem cells go everywhere the blood flows, uh, right into the eye as well. And we'll do an intranasal aspiration where the stem cells are uh, deployed like a nose spray um, right next to the eye as well and into the uh, cerebral area and the optic nerve area. So uh, we get uh, we're killing a bunch of birds by doing it this way, I like to say. And so um, my goal, my, my motto is to leave no stones unturned. So anything that will help, we will do it. Doctor, can this avoid surgery? Yes, very much so. Uh, so uh, a lot of our stem cell treatments can avoid surgery. Uh, in many, many cases, very often, there one more than one treatment may be required uh, we have seen improvement after a few months or a year or so where we get to a certain degree um, and then patients want to see more. So in those cases, uh, uh, patients, in many cases, patients are satisfied uh, after one treatment. In many cases, we need more than one treatment because we haven't got to where we want to be. So um, that's, uh, and, and we can avoid the need for surgery in, in all kinds of stem cell treatments. Downtime, doctor. Mm. No, no real downtime at all. Really? Uh, not at all. We, uh, the, because the stem cells are placed behind the eye, because we do an IV, uh, we do the intranasal aspiration, they're really, it is very, very non-invasive. Um, we have seen no downtime whatsoever with, our, uh, with these procedures for the eye. Like you say, you cover a lot of ground here, and I was wondering if I forgot to ask you anything um, about this topic. We can probably just touch on the whole uh, comprehensive approach that we uh, that we provide at the Stem Cell Healing Institute. We, um, uh, we I want to remind our listeners and our uh, our viewers that we do a very very comprehensive total detox program. Before we begin, uh, that entails a nutritional IV, uh, natural suppositories, and B vitamin shots. And then we follow that up with growth hormone therapy, age-appropriate growth hormone therapy. Um, 
which all, all of this pre-treatment provides an internal milieu and an environment of the best possible healing and a best possible environment for the best results. Um, and sort of taking and rejuvenating and taking the body back in time uh, in creating this environment. So we have the oxygen, we have the growth hormone, we have the detoxification, we have a stem cell enhancement formula, which is a combination of key herbs and minerals and nutraceuticals that uh, uh, aid the stem cells and aid the body to, to do their best possible uh, job. And, um, and psychological wellness and, and emotional um, uh, uh, addressing that aspect of wellness as well so that we cover all of our bases. All right, doctor. Um, we really appreciate your time. And um, thank you, doctor. You have a nice weekend. Thank you, Luis. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening. In case you have any questions, please visit our website, stemcellhealinginstitute.com. Or you may send us an email to info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. If you want to contact us from North America, you may dial plus 1-209-690-7836. If you want to send us a message through WhatsApp, please add us at plus 502-4220-7297. And this is how you find us on our social media on Facebook, Stem Cell Healing Institute, on Instagram, Stem Cell HI, on Spotify, Stem Cell Healing Institute, on YouTube, Stem Cell Healing Institute. We hope to hear from you. Thank you.